Hi, in this video we're going to look at screen rotation and how the operating system handles it. And in some other videos I will demonstrate how to modify the user interface to support different screen rotations. So I have the simulator open and I have it in Safari onto a web browser page to my YouTube channel. So this is what it looks like in Portrait and in the simulator if I change if I go up to hardware I can change the rotation so I can choose rotate right and then you can see how it's automatically laid out for a landscape version and then I can rotate it back left again so when you're building apps you have to accommodate for what the new layout will look like and how it should be in different orientations so for example I have a simple little app here of just some graphics with some monster images on it and if I select my view and I come over here into my attributes panel I can change the orientation from portrait to landscape and so this will show you what it looks like when it's in landscape mode so you can see automatically it does not always look that great with the automatic layout that we get. So what we'll be looking at in some other demonstrations is how to work with modifying your layout for the different orientations. And there are a few different techniques that you can use in order to do that. But you can see that just a simple layout like this does not automatically rotate well. And even if I do run this in the simulator, and then I rotate it, you can see that it pretty much follows suit with what we had in the preview in Interface Builder. So what happens when our app rotates? Let's look at some things here. First of all, by default, the operating system detects whether the orientation of the device has changed. So we don't have to build in any code to have it detect that for us. So that's an automatic given to us. So that's a nice feature. Now if I come into my application, my project information here, and I go to the targets and summary, right? we can see these are the default supported device orientations. So we have portrait, landscape left, landscape right. And these are based on where the home button is. So you can see portrait is when it's vertical upside down the home button is at the top landscape left the home button is on the left and landscape right the home button is on the right so this is based on where the home button is located now generally when you start a new project it gives you these other supported device locations but upside down is not and for an iPhone device that's not considered a good form to have upside down because if the phone rings then the user has to flip it upside down the other way in order to be able to talk on the phone. But on iPad devices uh, upside down you're encouraged to use all four orientations for iPad. Now looking in the code I'm going to go into the view controller implementation file and in here is a method called should auto rotate to interface orientation. So this method is called whenever the orientation of the device changes and it passes in a single parameter of the UI interface orientation which represents the orientation of the device. And in here it's going to return the orientation as long as it's not equal to portrait upside down. So this matches what we had in our application, right? All of these are supported except upside down. So to modify this for different types of orientations, we could say instead of not equal to, let's try is equal to, and then We'll get rid of user interface orientation portrait upside down and let's just say we want to support UI interface and then you can see as I start to type it up we get options in here of the different landscape orientations and portrait orientations. So we can see that we have we had the upside down we just have plain portrait we have landscape left landscape right and again that depends on where the home button is. 
So if I wanted this to support portrait, and let's say, or interface orientation is equal to, let's say, landscape right. So now this would only allow the device so that it's in portrait or landscape right. So if I save this and run it in my simulator, so now if I test this, and I rotate left, right, we have our landscape right, which means the home button is on the right. You can see that upside down is not supported, so it's not adjusting where this bar is. I'm going to rotate it left again, and again you can see in the simulator that this home button is on the left, which is not one of the supported orientations, so it's not adjusting for this. So it's not allowing that to be one of the selected orientations. But when I put it into one of the supported orientations, everything sort of shifts around and puts things into place. Now you can see even though this is one of the supported orientations, the images of the monsters aren't showing up properly. So what we'll do is uh, there are some other demonstrations that I will do to show some techniques on how to revise your layouts for the different supported orientations.